Welcome back folks. Today we're just going to make a really quick video on how to make up your own coax cables. So I needed a 16 foot cable um, so that's what I'm going to try and build. Now this is it. I've got 16 feet of RG58 here. A couple of BNC connectors, crimp on connectors. A couple of pieces of heat shrink tubing here. And a crimper is a very important tool to have if you want to make up your own cables and a stripper now this stripper is kind of unique in that it it cuts the cable in such a way that it's all neatly laid out you'll have a little bit of the center conductor a little bit of insulation a little bit of the um, shield and i'll show you how that works so what you want to do you want to stick the cable in like this just so that it comes to the end like that and then you rotate this around now, these have to be carefully adjusted otherwise they can make a real mess of the cable so you see here yeah sometimes you have to this one's not properly adjusted it's not cutting all the way through the shield at this end so what we can do there get a cutter so make sure it gets cut back to this line here okay now we want to get one of our connectors out and then just twist up the center conductor Put the ferrule on it or the pin center pin and then that gets crimped in here so you put that right through where it stops and then crimp it that's done right there like that now we need to make sure that the sleeve goes down over the cable here and then we put the connector body on like this so it goes underneath the shield and move this up and crimp this has got two sides here it's got uh, rg59 and rg58 this is rg58 put that on like that That's your end done. Now the other side here, we want to make sure that we put both pieces of the heat shrink on. That's much better. Make sure you have no whiskers going forward. That could potentially short out your cable. All right. Get this next connector on here. Exactly like we did the last one. Oh, 
Okay, now we just need to move our heat shrink up to the ends and heat shrink it on. I'll go do that, I'll be right back. And there we're finished. Takes about, I don't know, like five minutes altogether. So you can save yourself quite a bit of money doing this and uh, you don't have to wait for them to be delivered. So get yourself a roll of coax cable and a bunch of the connectors and a crimping tool and your little stripper there and uh, make your own cables. And you can see it's, uh, it's working nicely. Thanks for joining me, folks. We'll see you in the next one.